السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, in this last 10 days of Ramadan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his blessing upon each and every one of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your prayer, your fasting, your sadaqah, everything. And may Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you heaven on earth and heaven in heaven. In these last 10 days of Ramadan, I decided to take a challenge. A challenge for whom? For Africa. Why Africa? Africa is the dearest country to my heart after Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem. So much affected by Africa, so much affected by the generosity and the good character and the nicety of the African people. I am indebted to Africa because I am originally African from North Africa and my roots go back deep to Africa because our first work which made us to be recognized by international community came out of Africa because Africa built for me my platform that I'm standing on it. That's why my relationship with Africa is a never-ending story. It's a lifelong story, lifelong long mission, and lifelong love and affection. That's why today I'm going to talk about Africa and why I'm taking this challenge for Africa. Why? Because in the sub-Saharan Africa, there's more than 419 million people having an income less than $1.9 a day, less than a sandwich, a burger sandwich, or a cheese sandwich, or the loaf of bread, or a drink of water, or a drink, a fizzy drink, less. And this is the income of 419 million people living in the sub-Saharan Africa. 319 million people in Africa do not have uh, uh, access to clean and good water supply. That's why they carry, they carry most of the diseases on earth in Africa. So they need clean water supply. 239 million people in Africa, according to the, the 2018 statistics, are undernourished, 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 218 million. So talk about 419 million people, income under $1.9 a day, and 319 million people are, are actually, uh, do not have an access to clean, uh, access, uh, to clean water supply, and 239 million are undernourished. Africa is the second largest place on earth after Asia will have 413 million people could face hunger. In Africa as a whole 513 million people could face hunger. 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 While we stuff ourselves with food, stuff ourselves with drinks, stuff ourselves with excess of excess of excess of excess of everything and why we waste and waste and waste and waste food and drinks on a daily basis and why the rich countries are dumping food in the oceans on an annual basis the 513 million people could face hunger 73 million people could die out of hunger, especially in the atmosphere of Corona, because of the restriction of movement, because of the lack of productivity and lack of transportation. 22.8% of the population of Sub-Saharan Africa, as I said, are undernourished, and this is the highest on earth. And this is the highest, the highest 
rate of undernourished people on earth is in Africa. And Africa is the continent which its wealth has been stolen, stolen, stolen by others. I'm not going to talk about who are stealing the wealth of Africa because we're not going to politicize the humanitarian catastrophe which is facing Africa. Worldwide, 820 million people are suffering from hu hunger. Every day, not every day, I'm sorry, every second, an individual dies out of hunger. Every five seconds, a child dies out of hunger. Every year, 33 to 35 million people die out of hunger and 5 to 6 million children die out of hunger. At least 40 to 50 percent are from Africa. That's why I'm standing today with my challenge for Africa and I want you to stand with me. If you don't want to stand with me, I will stand alone. I know how I can stand alone. I've seen many famines in Africa. 1983 famine in Eritrea and Tigray claimed the lives of thousands and thousands of people and march of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people and everybody was watching it. But did we treat, it, did we treat the causes of famine in Eritrea and Tigray at the time they were a part of Ethiopia? No. Still Africa is suffering. Still the people of Africa are suffering. Still, the African people in the Sub-Saharan Africa are suffering up till today, and 513 million of them could face hunger. From 1983, we took about nearly 40 years. Somalia is the same. We witnessed the famine in Somalia in 2011, which claimed hundreds of thousands. More than 250,000 people, women used to walk for miles, hundreds of kilometers with the children. If they have to leave behind the sick ones to die because they cannot take him and carry him or her. We saw this ugly, inhumane scene while we were sitting watching them as movies, movie. So yeah, we feel pity for them. Pity. Oh my God. And we used to talk about them. And they are a part of the fairy story. Alien walking. The black alien walking. But whoever was there, the men and the women were burying their children from Somalia in 2011. In hundreds and in thousands. Because they could not be able to take them after they become sick and weak and die. Dying. Many of the children died in Africa at that time. Many. And it's still happening. And the international civilized world is watching them while enjoying ourselves, while talking while walking, why are teaching, educating others who don't have the agony of them. That's why I'm standing today for them. My challenge is in a week's time, on 22nd of May at 12 o'clock. I promised the, pop the people who made me to make this challenge to walk for four miles for Africa. 12 noon, 22nd of May. To raise fund for Africa. I'll put the link. And whoever amongst you would love to save an African or to walk one step, one foot step for Africa, maybe donate a dollar for one foot step or a pound for one foot step or a euro for one foot step or a dinar for one foot step or whatever you call it. Or donate five or ten or twenty or fifty or hundred. Donate as much as you want and as much as you can for Africa. 
I want you to help me in two things. First of all, to pray for me to finish the walk. It would be nearly about 6.5 to 7 kilometers on that day. But I want you to share the link that I am going to put on this uh, video. Inshallah. You don't have to pay money if you don't want to pay money. But share it. Share it with whom you like. Anywhere. Everywhere. Because we need to show humanity that we are human beings. We need to show Africa that we are their brothers and their sisters. We need to show Allah that our fasting, our prayer, our Quran, and our standing up at night, all the night, crying, of recite, of listening to the recitation of the Quran, is meaningful. Is meaningful when we spread our hand and stretch our hand to the people in Africa. We decided to support six countries with as much fund as we have, or as you much fund as you donate. First is Somalia. Somalia is like uh, catch twenty two. Every two three years is a semi famine or a drought or whatever you call it. Somalia, South Sudan, Niger, Mali, Chad, and Democratic Republican Republic of Congo. People might come and tell me, you are a Muslim. You are good. raising this fund through a Muslim organization. So why do you go and support the non-Muslim countries or people? I say proudly, Islam taught me to spread my hand to anyone and everyone, anywhere and everywhere, whether they are Muslims or others. Without asking about their culture, their background, their faith, their values. Because the man is in need. Is the man and the woman who should be with me when I meet my Lord. To save me. To save my neck. To save my family. To save my country. Because they will support me. Allah will never ever tell me only support Muslims or only if I'm Christian support Christian or only if I'm a Jew support a Jew. Once upon a time an Israelite from the children of Israel a woman was a prostitute. Prostitute. She found a panting dog need to have a drink of water and she took her shoes off and brought the water and gave it to him. Allah forgiven her. For a dog. In every living soul there is a charity. And charitable act. So from you and from me, brothers and sisters, sadaqa does not have any boundaries. Does not have any limit. Even inside the zakat, which obligatory on the Muslims every year to pay if you have the fund the people who might become closer to Islam without you forcing them to become Muslims don't use the weaknesses of the poor non-Muslim to convert them give them the help with no condition يطعمون الطعام على حبه مسكينا ويتيما وأسيرا إنما نطعمكم لوجه الله لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا وفيد out of love the prisoner of war who has been released the مسكين and the orphan إنما we feed you for the sake of Allah we are not waiting for a reward or for a glamour so don't come and tell me not to help the non-Muslims in Democratic Republic of, Corson, of, of, of Congo, it is the most vulnerable spot in Africa, maybe in the whole world. South Sudan is the same. Somalia, Chad, Niger, and uh, Mali as well. Somalia. So, the challenge is, raise as much fund as you want for Africa, you know why I'm saying this now? Because of the our philosophy of thinking during the COVID. 
is to be protecting myself, only myself. Becoming scared and sitting at home. Becoming locked down at home. Because I'm scared to come out. To meet the virus. Taking all the precautionary precaution measures. But when it comes to Africa, with dirty water supply, with no shelter, with no food, with people, about 73 million people could die out of hunger, it is becoming a crime against all humanity, including myself. That's why I have to stand for Africa. You want to donate as much as you want, please, I'll put the link afterwards with the video. If you want to walk on 22nd of May in your garden, be careful with the COVID regulation in the backyard alone. And for every food step you walk, you donate one real, one dollar, one dinar, one dirham, one uh, pound, or one euro. But don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop trying to save Africa. Inshallah, if I live the next Friday, I will do it. You pray for me that my health and my body will carry me for this nearly seven kilometer. And I pray for you that you pray for the African and you stand up for the African. I love you and God bless you. May Allah save you. May Allah grant you heaven. And may Allah let his blessing to be showered on every and each one of you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.